Is your child the next Bill Gates? Dr. Phil Greenwood, professor at the UW School of Business, joins us with five signs that your child might be a budding entrepreneur. Thanks so much for being here. This, you looked at new research, and this really picks out five attributes that differentiate kids. Exactly. It was out of Tufts, uh, Oregon State, and also Stanford. Studied kids who said they had an inclination like they'd want to start a business and then kind of correlated attributes with that. Okay, so parents, listen up and see what applies to your kids. First attribute, innovative thinking. Innovative thinking. If you have a child who is really good at solving math problems, but they, or, or, or anything, but they kind of take a unique way to solve things that you, it just isn't out of the norm. That's pretty much kind of a sign of an innovative thinker. Self-control and persistence. Self-control, self-discipline, self-motivated, but also the ability to follow through and finish things. And, and not need a lot of direction. They're really, really self-driven. Okay, so give them a task and then uh, see what happens. Yep. If he or she is an organizer of a group or club, they saw this a lot. They did. You know, children coming up through junior high, high school, not necessarily that they ran the club or organization, but they were the ones who started it and mm. pulled their friends together to organize the club. And that's really a sign of an entrepreneur is pulling resources together to start things. It's a good point. Maybe you're not there the whole time, but you're there at the, out, right. at the onset. Okay, then they have an interest in business. How do you determine, what does that mean? Interest in business, a natural one, you hear the stories of people who you know, grew up raised, uh, with a newspaper route or, or children who were really interested in making money uh, babysitters and stuff, but they have a real interest not only in business, but also the prospect of maybe making a profit. They learn that at a young age, right? Yes. And then the fifth one, research shows that having an entrepreneur as a family member is a factor. One of the biggest factors that's a correlator with somebody who will start a business is if they grew up in a family business or they had an aunt or an uncle or another family member who started and owned their own business. And that exposure has a great deal of influence on, on children as they grow up and like I said, probably one of the biggest predictors of somebody who will start a business hmm. later on. And then they can see that you can have a dream and, and make it happen. Exactly. Yeah. They, they see the hard work, but they also see the rewards mm -hmm. of it. All right, Dr. Greenwood, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Good luck to all those parents looking for the strength in your children.